Welcome to Nutrapreneur, your gateway to the frontiers of the nutraceutical industry. I am very excited to be introducing Caitlin Vanderhaeg. She is the driving force behind Kidstar Nutrients, and this is a company that's known for its unwavering commitment to child health. So welcome, Caitlin. So excited to have you. Thank you very much, Bethany. It's great to be here. Awesome. So um, I guess we'll just dive right into it. Um, Caitlin, why don't you walk us through the genesis of Kidstar Nutrients and really what was the catalyst behind its inception? So I, I had the luxury of growing up in the health and wellness industry. And actually, um, my mom is a health expert in here in Canada and nationally, and it's Lorna Vanderhaeg. And so I grew up with her surrounded by us, you know, t- questioning, telling us, you know, read the labels. What else can you do? Is that the only option? And then after high school, I actually went and started working for her company, Lorna Vanderhaeg Health Solutions. And during that time, I did supply chain. So I was in charge of the raw materials um, from finish, uh, raw material to finished product on the shelf. So I got to see everything and I loved it. I loved ingredients and I loved being able to read the C of A's and go, okay, yes, we're going to use this one. It has this benefit. It doesn't contain X, Y, Z, and it's a great quality. And then I had my daughters during that same time and I would go to the health food store and look for things for them and I would get frustrated and I'd read the labels and I'd go, why did they include that? Why did they include that? And it just became to the point where I knew I couldn't buy those things for my kids. And I knew that they were picky eaters and we were having a hard time and that they needed those really good quality nutrients. And so when the company sold um, and my second daughter was diagnosed with iron deficiency, I decided that I was going to make these products myself. I was like, I know we can do better. And so Kidstar Nutrients was born to because other parents out there as well needed something better for their families. Right. That's amazing. I love it. Just taking control of it. (laughs) Um, And, you know, there's so many brands out there that are vying for attention. So how does Kidstar ensure that it's standing out while remaining true to its promise? You know, a lot of it is just that connection. Like this company was made because of our own children. And so we really push that, like, these are things we should look for in our own families. And we know that we're making products that we're proud to give our own kids and our own families. And so it's safe for your family as well, because we we want to make sure that the quality is top notch. And also we really push education. We want to make sure you know why you're taking the product and which products are best for your family. Yes, absolutely. Quality and safety are so important. Yeah. <laughs> um, so in today's digital age, it seems like every business, including nutraceuticals, really grapples with seamless transactions. So how has Kidstar adapted its payment processing to you know, ensure a frictionless customer experience? So for with our website, we've ensured that there isn't that many clicks involved from your purchase to the shopping cart to, of course, getting it at home. So for our customers, we want we do want to make sure that you don't get lost in the transaction and then, of course, go somewhere else. And, you know, a lot of nutraceutical brands during COVID had to swap and do online sales and they weren't really ready for it. So it's been good for us launching during that time to make sure that it was seamless, that from start of the purchase on your website to the end at home, that it all worked together. Yeah, I know everything is online. (laughs) Also, (laughs) it's so important (laughs) to make it simple and easy for the consumers to get their products. Um, and so, you know, with Kidstar, something that I, I really love about the brand is the unique child centric approach. So can you share with us some of your strategies to engage children, but also, you know, earn that parental trust that is so important? We really focus, of course, on education from preconception, you know, before we even get pregnant and the importance of nutrients for the mom. And of course, as soon as they're born, we want to focus again. And, you know, we don't stop growing from the time we are born till, you know, our mid twenties ish, depending on the person. And that entire time is when we really need the nutrients. So that's why we focus on kids because we want to make sure they have a great foundation before they go into their twenties and their thirties. We don't want to find out in our thirties that we could have solved this problem in our early years. And of course with kids, it's taste (laughs) Um, for kids. It's got to look fun. It has to taste good. 
And that's actually the biggest thing. You know, I came from doing women's supplements in my mom's company, and it was really easy to put something in a capsule. You know, right. it was like, it's okay that that person's just going to swallow it. They won't ever really taste it. And then moving to the kids category has to taste good. But of course, we don't use sugar, artificial colors or flavors, and we don't use harmful preservatives. So we really had to work with our manufacturers to get the formulas down with using great quality ingredients that the kids would really like. Yes, absolutely. I know it, it can be so challenging to try to, to mask those vitamin flavors <laughs> and tastes. Um, and I know with my kids, they definitely want something that tastes good. <laughs> So oh, I know yeah. that it, it took a lot of trial and error, I'm sure for that, but that's great. Yeah, My, uh, my kids were the, the testers at the beginning. Yes. And of course they were like, which sample is this number one <laughs> or number five? Yes. <laughs> and I'd be like five and they're like, okay, I'll try it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Um, and so, you know, I'd really love to take a peek into Kidstar's roadmap. So what's in store for the future at Kidstar? So right now we are across Canada and our future is moving into the, the U.S. and getting into some e-commerce and making sure that the customers we do have in the U.S. are able to purchase our products. We have a lot of traffic on our website from the U.S., but currently um, we are working through the regulations to get our products into the hands of our American customers. And of course, looking um, globally, where else we can fit our product line into those countries where, of course, other parents are looking for great quality products. So we are looking outside of Canada, but we're also focusing on Canada as well, making sure the pediatricians know about our products, that there's different options out there, and that there are great tasting products that don't have harmful ingredients. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's so interesting to see the various regulations from country to country. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really eye-opening whenever I've looked into that to see Oh, there's so many variations that you really wouldn't even expect. No, um, yeah, everything down to labeling, the yes. the way you write it on the label, the images, that what you can say. No, it's uh, you know Canada is very strict, and it's um, they have a great system. But of course, when you move out of that, you know you have to relearn everything. So um, we're almost finished, and we're excited to launch in other areas. Yes, it's very exciting. Um, so let's change gears a bit and let's talk about technology. So how has Kidstar incorporated tech solutions to streamline, streamline its business processes, um, and especially in those areas that are less discussed, like nutraceutical payment processing and mechanisms? It's, um, it's been very interesting over the time. Like when I started working in the industry, it was very much everything was just check. Um, you mm -hmm. maybe had a wire transfer, but that was even you know, a little bit outside the box. Yes. So going from the paper payment systems and moving into now we're doing wire transfers and e-transfers and everything is just seamless. It's just, I can pay you in five seconds. It's a very different payment world, but even from raw material all the way to finished good and on the shelf, it has dramatically changed. And now we're able to look into things like the way you can connect um, apps to your website, to connect to your payment processing, which connects to your, your CRM. And everything now can just talk to each other to get to the end result, which does save a significant amount of time. This episode is brought to you by NutraPayments.com. If your business needs credit card processing that fully integrates with most major Nutra software platforms, offers the lowest industry prices, and has built-in features like recurring billing, $0 trials, and chargeback prevention, then visit us at NutraPayments.com for a free online quote. So do you have any memorable challenges or triumphs in the realm of Nutra credit card processing or payment systems that have really influenced your journey with Kidstar? Just being able to know that like the payment processing we use right now, they actually, um, the more obviously you grow, they also can assist you with loans, like short-term loans, because they know how much your funding is happening and how much is coming in and going out. So just having that safety net, knowing that th those funds are there if you need them is extremely helpful. And it also shows you how much your company really is worth because they can, it's, it's almost immediate. You know how much is going out, how much is coming in, and they right away will tell you how much you can be funded for. So it's it's just the landscape's completely changed. And for us, you know, being able to have multiple um, areas of revenue from websites, from wholesale, 
uh, consumers, stores, everything, it, it really helps out in the, in the final. Yeah, absolutely. It's great that it's also instantaneous like that. Um, yes. That's definitely a big change. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Um, And so I know innovation is huge with the nutraceutical industry. Um, Everybody wants to have the next cutting edge product. Um, So how are you innovating with the regulations that are in place? How are you ensuring that Kidstar stays ahead while upholding its promise? So we make sure that with each product and with each ingredient, we look into the ingredient completely all the way down to the beginning of how it was made. And also we do hit, go to all the trade shows around the world to make sure that the ingredients we're using are the best in that area. Um, There's been a lot of innovation in ingredients, which has been amazing through encapsulation. You know, they're able to mask certain uh, flavors and can be protected better. And it goes to, you know, the certain part in your body where it actually is absorbed properly so we do make sure that every time we do, do a new product, do a new ingredient, we, re, we review each one. And even when we do another run, we'll look at that product and go, is there anything we can do to make that better? Let's look at the research. Is this still the best ingredient? What else has happened? And then of course, in Canada, we have to follow our regulations. So we also make sure that we're staying on top of what ingredients are allowed, how much are you allowed to have X, Y, Z, and to stay within that framework. And if we need to ask and include a new ingredient, we go right ahead and we will actually go to Health Canada and say, this is a brand new ingredient. We want to use it in our product. What can we do? So we do try to push as well to have ingredients added on our side so that we can have the best quality ingredients in our products. I love that. Being proactive, continuous improvement, all great things. Um, So I've been on your website, I've seen, you know, the amazing products that you have to offer, and I'd really love to go through a product's journey. So are you able to share with us the story behind one of Kidstar's flagship products? Of course. So our iron uh, chewable, our BioFee unflavored, is the product I actually made for my daughter. So I, when I knew I had this problem, we tried about 10 different products on the shelf that were recommended through the pediatrician or the pharmacist and even the health food stores. She would not take any of them more than once. And I didn't even like the ingredients in them, but I was just trying to solve the problem. So mm-hmm. we just kept trying. And I reached out to a raw material supplier that I knew had a great quality um, iron ingredient. And we started from there. And I said, you know, what does it taste like when there's nothing in it? And you know, can it, is it safe for this? Is it safe for that? You know, will this work in this formula? And after all those yeses occurred and we've researched the ingredient itself, then we went to the manufacturer and we said, this is the ingredient we want to use. This is our end goal. We do not want to include artificial colors, flavors. We don't want flowing agents. We don't want all these excipients that really aren't needed in this specific product. And then from there, they let us know, okay, so if you're not going to use these, then we have this option. And it was a lot of trial and error at the very beginning. And then you move to taste. (laughs) And at the taste phase um, is where you have all your samples. And of course, at that point, I said, we don't even need a flavor. This product tastes good without a flavor. It's sweetened with a little bit of xylitol. And I was like, if we don't need a flavor, don't include it. I always say less is more. We do not need to add all these extra things to make it flashy for kids. If it tastes good, it tastes good. And so at that point, um, we were very happy with the formula and everything worked for for manufacturing. And then we launched the product. So it was um, that product itself is my my number one favorite because it was the first that we created. And of course, it was for my own daughter. So um, still to this day, I love that product. Yes, that's amazing, especially when you have a personal connection to it. Um, and for, for listeners, um, if you want to learn more about the products, you can go to their website. It is kidstarnutrients.com slash products. We'll take you to see more information about these products, um, including the one that Caitlin just shared with us. Um, so I know we've been talking a lot about the Kidstar promise. So, you know, upholding the Kidstar promise. So how do you navigate the industry's challenges to really deliver uncompromised quality products? You know, the biggest part of that is a lot of people use other ingredients because it's faster and of course it's cheaper. And we are well aware that our ingredients do cost more, but we are not going to put a cheaper product 
on the market, a cheaper ingredient, sorry, on the market, just because we will make more money. We want to ensure that the ingredients in our products are very good quality and that the final product has all the testing and it is, you know, surpassing what it needs to surpass to be on that shelf and be safe for your family, because that's really what matters most is the quality and the effectiveness of that product. And so, you know, of course, um, our long-term goals are to be, you know, household names in in North America. And at that point, we're really excited to have the economies of scale to drop our prices a little bit. And of course, you know, being able to be more competitive on that front. But, you know, the biggest thing for us is is the quality of the ingredients in the products. Absolutely. Um, and there's, you know, this industry just continues to grow. And so for those out there that are, you know, new and upcoming brands eager to venture into the nutraceutical industry, what insights can you provide regarding the nuances of business operations, including those aspects like payment processing? You know, I always want to say, if you want to start a business, just do it because that, that really is the most important part. If you have a passion, if you're solving a problem, get out there and do it. But in this industry in in particular, you know, make sure you know, know your products and you know, your costing and you know that the, the road ahead will have a lot of additional fees. So certain um, chains and things like that to get listed is very expensive. So just to be aware of the funding you're going to need down the road. So again, you know, looking how you're going to receive the payments, payment processing through your website, through um, different channels, making sure it's all set up at the same time. So you're not stuck later on with this great quality product and no one to, to sell it to. I think that's, that's an excellent tip for those out there. Um, I think there are a lot of fees and things that, you know, people that are, new to the business don't always realize. Um, So that's very good advice. Um, So thinking about the future, so what is your vision for Kidstar in the coming years? And do you have any teasers for what's on the horizon? We definitely have some new products coming out in the in the very short future, which we are very excited about. Um, You know, we would love to see the Kidstar brand grow with your kids. So, you know, getting, making sure our teenagers have what's needed and making sure our young adults have the nutrients they need. We have a few other products in our line already that are targeted towards adults. So we really want to make sure that this brand grows with the families that we support. Yeah, I think that's amazing. And I think there's definitely a demand out there for that because even, you know, I have my kids that their ages range from two to 12 and, you see the kids' products, you see the adults' products, but then for the 12 year old who's almost 13, it's like, what do I buy for him? It's very yeah. true because you don't, yeah. they're not yet adults, but right. there's they are still very kid like. You know, we don't want to, you know, yeah. they're not yet teenagers, but they're that in that area. Good. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. yes, that's, that's great. I think that's a great vision for the company. Um, so thank you so much. It's been really great to learn about Kidstar Nutrients and, you know, all that you have to offer a little bit of background about your business, um, your advice. It's been so great. Um, so thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yes. And, you know, for the listeners out there, once again, if you want to learn more about Kidstar Nutrients, you can visit their website at kidstarnutrients.com and continue the conversation online. Um, So we will continue with these Nutripreneur podcast episodes for any, you know, new and upcoming brands that are out there that are looking for resources as they venture into the nutraceutical industry. So continue tuning in as I meet with industry experts and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.